guys, it's Lisa and I decided to make a video today and I, even though I haven't gotten dressed or anything because I just got back from the dog park, my kids are playing a video game that they got for Christmas and I only gave them 15 minutes to play so I thought this would be a great time to put a video together and uh, in case you always hear background noise like you always hear like crazy noises in the background that is because generally the only time I'm really able to make a video when we're not doing school or um, not putting the baby down or whatever is when I give my kids that 15 20 minute time to uh, play a video game and uh, I even find it hard to make a video when I send them outside because then I'm constantly kind of watching to see what they're doing and make sure everything's okay. And even though we live on the Air Force Academy, which is pretty safe, I do just like to know where they are. So anyway, that's why you always hear like video game noises in the background. I'm really, we're really not video addicts. But anyway, I decided to film my kids' food and I kind of started on a little bit late. So this will be the first video of their food and it'll be kind of like the first video I did of my food which is kind of hodgepodgey and out of order because I just was filming and taking pictures and I didn't really know I was going to be doing a series of, of it. So just bear with me and the next video I'm really hoping will be better and more organized. I've actually realized it's way better to take video than to take pictures because when I put a picture on there, I noticed in my other video, it when you put a picture into the movie thing, into the editor, it makes it really close and I haven't figured out how to make it go back. So you see these like huge blueberries and you can't see what else is on the plate. Uh, and I can also just narrate it instead of doing a voiceover when I do videos. So I will be doing that. Just let me tell you real quick and then I will get onto the food. We are switching our kids to a plant-based diet and we have tried this before and honestly because I wasn't doing bright line eating I didn't have a good relationship with food myself so I had a really hard time switching over and not doing like just letting them eat like you know Ritz crackers and Oreos and a bunch of date filled sweets which is why I think a lot of vegans don't lose weight including me when I was trying to go vegan and then the other thing is I hadn't done enough research to really stand on my own and say hey no this is what's really best for us and therefore I would let people sway me so now that I have done um, a ton of research I've read I read the Chinese study which is amazing I read Dr. Furman's book Super Immunity and I'm in the middle of a book uh, called How Not to Die and these are people who aren't like animal rights activists they are like health uh, people who are showing that studies show that a plant-based diet can really lengthen your life since my dad and my brother died super young I want myself and my kids to live a long healthy life um, some of the things that they died from are said to be hereditary so that is why we're doing plant-based diet and the other thing is I also realized that my kids one of my kids was starting to have a weight problem and a lot of that had to do with, I don't believe heredity, heredity, I think it had to do with my not having control of my own eating habits. So now that I'm more established in my own eating habits, I'm almost six months in, I feel like it, I can transition them. So, okay, now that I've rambled for three minutes, so uh, please forgive the out of orderness and the super up close food, and I'm gonna be videoing their food from now on, and that will be a lot better. So here we go. So for breakfast, they are having some blueberries. They are the organic frozen blueberries from Costco and a breakfast cookie that I made just basically taking a breakfast cookie recipe off of Pinterest and switching out the butter with coconut oil, adding some flax seed for the eggs and just making it a little bit healthier all the way around. So I cut up some pineapple for the boys to eat and I decided that the core would be really good for baby to chew on. So this is just the core of a pineapple and then she's also chewing on a frozen peach. So this is a burrito that I made using some of the tortillas we already had in the freezer. They are white tortillas. When they're gone, we will switch them out with whole wheat tortillas, but I need for my kids to not think I'm trying to kill them. And then I used, I just pureed up some 15 bean soup that we had had the night before and put some onions and stuff in there and then served it with 
carrot sticks. And actually, my boys, who really are not bean eaters, have started to really develop a taste for it now that they've been having homemade beans instead of just really bland canned beans. So if you've seen the video of my food, this meal probably looks familiar. This is actually the sauteed uh, spinach and tomatoes and onions with a little bit of garlic and some tomatoes. And then for the boys, we just stir fried it in some water and put it over rice. Of course, for my meal, I did not put it over rice. So this is another breakfast, and I apologize for the up-close picture again. We use the bare naked granola along with uh, the coconut almond milk, and then just put some blueberries on top of it. And I also always serve a side of fresh fruit just in case nobody likes it. So this is what my boys had for lunch one day, and this is blueberries and sliced up apples, which is always a sure thing for them blueberries and sliced up apples. I also had some probably not very healthy cinnamon bread left in the freezer. So I went ahead and used that. Once again, we are trying to not make it like so abrupt that they hate me. So it just, I toasted it and instead of using butter, I put coconut oil on it and that's what they had for lunch. Okay, so I'm gonna see if it's better to do pictures or to do a video of every meal we have. So. For my kids today, they are having a garden burger. I only have half for each of them because so far nobody has been a huge fan of them. Um, we have some hummus and some carrots and celery. And then I have leftover breakfast fruit. This morning for breakfast they had um, peaches and blueberries, so I just added a couple more blueberries to that. And then I put, we had four breakfast cookies left over, so I decided to use that. And then, I have some bananas if anyone wants them and that is over by my plate so I have already weighed my food and I have um, some celery, some carrots, and some hummus, and a banana. So my lunch is not very complex today either. I forgot about the vegetables because they were in the oven when I did my video of the food. So this is just um, some mixed vegetables. I actually got them at Costco. I think they're called Normandy vegetables. I think they're organic. And um, I mixed them with a tablespoon of olive oil, some garlic, some Italian seasoning, and I just mixed it all up. The only reason I used a tablespoon was so that if I wanted to have some, I could have some and I would know exactly where the fat was. But this is for all my kids to share. And we're gonna be having water today with uh, lunch because we had nut milks and coconut milks and all the different kinds of milk for breakfast. So we're just having water with lunch. I forgot one thing, um, so excuse my, my child uh, proof plates. I have, they have obviously seen some better days. But one last thing is um, I do include a vitamin and a probiotic for my kids just to make sure that they get vitamin D and vitamin B12 that um, sometimes doesn't exist in a vegetarian diet because we don't drink the um, we don't drink uh, cow's milk, vitamin D fortified cow's milk, and one of my children does not really like the nut milks. And then I do the probiotic only because we have been, we've had a stomach bug in this house lately. And uh, so I'm doing the probiotic to try to chase away all the bad bugs and fill it with good bugs. She's forgotten. The baby today is having, she's 11 months old, and she's having a rice rusk. Baby, can we see? Can we see what you're having for what you're having for your baby food? She's having oh, a pear carrot and a pear purple carrot and blueberry pouch. And we will also share with her just a few pieces of our vegetables and our veggie burgers and some banana. But she was two months early, so she's um so she's not eating like she probably would be if she was um, truly 11 months old. So, and she's also going to have a bottle of formula and also because she was two months early, it was much harder for me to breastfeed because she was in the hospital so long. So unfortunately she is on formula. Veggie burger? Was it good? Was it good? Yes. Hey guys, I'm in my kitchen making dinner and uh, my kids are being crazy loud so I apologize. 
I wanted to show you guys what I made for dinner and just to tell you that one of the things that I kind of committed to doing was instead of taking everything out of our kitchen and getting rid of it and replacing everything with something different or something healthier, I decided to try to incorporate as much of what we had into our healthy meals, uh, both from an economic standpoint and also just from a shock standpoint for my kids. So uh, the meal I made tonight, I will explain when I show it to you. Okay, so this is what my family's having for dinner tonight. I am having almost the same thing except my, um, my squash is stuffed with just vegetables. But um, okay, so this is stuffing stuffed squash and it is a squash that I, an acorn squash that I cooked and I took all the insides out and I mixed it with a stuffing mix that we already had. Not a stovetop one, it was just the breadcrumbs. So I was able to put, um, I was able to put onions and celery and some diced apples and the squash mix it up with the stuffing and stuff it back into the acorn and i also have some mini organic peppers and some cucumber slices and an organic apple and if you're thinking that that is not economical we live near a sprouts and if you go to sprouts sales you can pretty much eat organic for almost what you would eat conventional the, these organic apples are currently on sale at our Sprouts, they're organic gala apples, and they are currently on sale at our Sprouts here in Colorado for 88 cents a pound. And you really can't find conventional apples for 88 cents a pound. So that is what my kids are having for dinner. My seven-year-old came in and tried the filling and of the, the stuffing filling and said it was really good. So I'm hoping this goes over really well. So I started filming their breakfast a little bit too late. There used to be apples on this plate. There didn't actually used to be blueberries on this plate, but there, there are blueberries on my plate and one of them made it to their plate. But there were clementines, apples, and kiwi fruit for breakfast. And they had that along with a glass of almond uh, coconut milk and some bare naked granola. And this morning, Baby is having an organic pouch of berries and beets. This is actually the Walmart brand and it is the cheapest thing going. It's organic and they have a lot of choices and it's only a dollar. And every place else I've gone for baby food, I have found that they go, they range from $1.39 to $1.89 for one of these little pouches. So even at the commissary, uh, the the cheapest one was $1.19. So Walmart still has them beat. If you're buying a bunch of them like I am, then yeah, 19 cents can quickly add up in five pouches to another dollar. Anyway, she's also having a little bit of soy milk. Uh, I'm not giving her a whole bunch of soy milk just because of some of the questions about it, but she's just learning to use her sippy cup, so I use that. And then she has some of these little organic blueberry puffs. She was a preemie, so her eating is a little bit different, I think, than some of my others. We cater to some of her things a little bit more just to get things into her. But she is going to be raised plant-based from the very beginning with no junk food. I haven't even decided what we're gonna do for her first birthday. Hey guys, so I hope you were able to tolerate the, uh, the very messy building, the out of orderness, and kind of my repetitiveness. I think I made it clear that my baby was a preemie and the various things I just kind of talked about. So um, I'm sure there are many things wrong with the diet that we're on. This is, we are converting over from a very unhealthy diet of uh, where we were really concerned about portion control and things like that and we have now realized that going plant-based they can eat as much as they want and I just leave fresh fruit and vegetables out and it is working really amazing for us. So I'm excited to keep filming and showing you how we've progressed and let you know how their health is doing. I will tell you all of them are having a little bit of gastrointestinal distress right now just because of the amount of fruits and vegetables that they are eating. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody and I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful day. Talk to you guys later.